Hello, Jay Cham. So today in this particular session, we are going to compare two reducing agents, sodium borohydride versus lithium aluminium hydride. These two reducing agents, they are very important from your Jay viewpoint. When we talk about Jay means as well as Jay advanced, questions do come from this particular part of the session. So we'll be talking about sodium borohydride and lithium aluminium hydride. So if I just talk about one particular thing, it's been written on the screen over here that lithium aluminium hydride is a very strong reducing agent comparison with sodium borohydride. Now if I just write them, okay, in a ionic form, it's Li positive and ALH4 negative, okay? Yes, ma'am. Talking about soro sodium borohydride, it's Na positive and it's BH4 negative, okay, fine. Talking about ALH4, okay. So, it's ALH4 negative. We know that, that aluminium do have three valence electrons. And if I just talk about that it is forming uh, the bonds with hydrogen. So, in a way, in order to complete the octate, it requires one more electron. Yeah. In doing so, what happens? It develops a negative charge over here. Okay. So, it accepts what? It accepts extra electron. It accepts extra electron other, tho other than those three valence electrons in order to complete the octet and in doing so, the negative charge get developed on aluminium. Similarly, over here, if I just talk about boron, again, there are three valence electrons and in order to complete the octet, it is going to take one more electron to complete the octet and there will be a negative charge generated over here on the boron. Okay, so over here, I'll just say one particular thing that this aluminium is more electropositive. Aluminium is what? It is more electropositive. Fine. Negative charge on this electropositive aluminium is less stable. Negative charge, negative charge is less stable on aluminium. Okay. So, it do have more tendency, it do have more tendency to release, more tendency to release hydride ion in comparison to sodium borohydride. Again, if I just talk about BH4 negative, so boron is more electronegative than aluminium. Thus, it can actually tolerate the negative charge better than aluminium. It do have lesser tendency lesser tendency it do have what lesser tendency basically it do have lesser tendency to what to release hydride ion to release hydride ion that's absolutely right fine this is absolutely cool till over here so in a way we can say that sodium borohydride and lithium aluminium hydride, they both, both are hydride releasing agent. Can we say them? That they both are hydride releasing agent. They both are hydride releasing agent. But whose tendency is more to release hydride ion? It's lithium aluminium hydride whose tendency is more to release the hydride ion. Okay, talking about lithium aluminium hydride, it reduces all the oxygen containing groups into 1 degree alcohols, except ketones, wherein it reduces ketones to 2 degree alcohols. Okay, now lithium aluminium hydride is a lesser selective reducing agent. It reduces all the nitrogen containing groups in 1 degree amine, into 1 degree amine, except it reduces isocyanide to 2 degree amine to 2 degree amine okay talking about sodium borohydride always remember it does not reduces acid and acid derivatives except oil halides fine and yes the sodium borohydride is highly selective reducing agent it's a highly selective reducing agent. It's highly selective for aldehydes and ketones, wherein it reduces aldehydes to 1 degree alcohol and ketones to 2 degree alcohol. It does not reduce acid or acid derivatives. For example, if I just talk for esters, okay? So, sodium borohydride do not reduce esters. So, this was a small summary if I just talk about regarding sodium borohydride and lithium aluminium hydride. Well, over here, you can have a summary over here that lithium aluminum hydride and sodium borohydride, they both reduces aldehyde. 
they also both reduces ketone sodium borohydride do not reduces ester and acid rather lithium aluminum hydride it reduces both of them sodium borohydride reduces acid chloride i said you oil chloride except oil chlorides this sodium borohydride do not reduces acid and acid derivatives but lithium aluminum hydride it reduces all the oxygen containing groups into 1 degree alcohols except the ketone wherein it reduces ketone to 2 degree alcohols that's why i said that lithium aluminum hydride do have more tendency it do have more tendency to release hydride ion in comparison to sodium borohydride the reason for it i have stated already so over here aldehyde to primary alcohol ketone to secondary alcohol carboxylic acid to primary alcohol acid and hydride to primary alcohol who does it lithium aluminum hydride again lithium aluminum hydride if i just talk in terms for acid halide to alcohol amide to amine ester to alcohol and nitrile to amine talking about sodium borohydride okay so it's basically aldehyde into primary alcohol ketone into secondary alcohol and acid halide into primary alcohol that's it okay so this was all from my side regarding the comparison of lithium aluminum hydride versus sodium borohydride hope this video is actually going to help you out in your preparation so take care and goodbye